I was curious what was in uh, a packet of iodized salt. Uh, so looking at the ingredients, um, if I can focus it. So salt, obviously, uh, sodium chloride. It's probably, you know, more than 95% sodium chloride. Sodium silicoaluminate is an anti-caking agent, so it won't clump. It'll allow the iodized salt to flow freely. Up to 2% uh, of this packet would be sodium silicoaluminate because iodine is an essential part of, uh, uh, of your diet to, uh, to eliminate goiter and uh, other thyroid problems. And we see dextrose. Dextrose is there to stabilize the potassium iodide uh, because it, potassium iodide is an ionic bond. It'll you know, readily dissociate, uh, uh, so dextrose is there to stabilize it. 0.04% uh, dextrose, which is a sugar, natural sugar, and there's up to 0.01% of potassium iodide, so very, very minute amount. Dextrose, uh, it's a form of glucose uh, that does not contain a water molecule. But on your food label, it may have other names, uh, such as, uh, you know, it may list the actual plant that it came from, dextrose being a plant-based uh, sugar. Uh, so it may list it as corn sugar, or wheat sugar, or rice sugar. Sugar, glucose, or dextrose, or what have you, is actually... Um, is actually alkaline and it's actually a reducing agent so it prevents oxidation by doing the reverse which is reduction of the potassium iodide